Andres Bonifacio was born on November 13, 1863, in Tandaman, Manila, Philippines. He was the founder and leader of the Katipunan, a secret society that aimed to overthrow the Spanish colonial government. Bonifacio is known as the father of the Philippine Revolution for his pivotal role in sparking the revolution that ultimately led to Philippine independence. He was a self-educated man who worked as a clerk and later as a warehouseman for a British trading company. Bonifacio wrote, Ang dapat mabatid ng mga Tagalog or in English, what the Tagalog should know, which urged his fellow Filipinos to fight for their freedom. He led the attack on Spanish forces in the Battle of San Juan del Monte in August 1896, which marked the start of the Philippine Revolution. Bonifacio was elected as the president of the newly established revolutionary government, but his leadership was challenged by Emilio Aguinaldo, another revolutionary leader. He was eventually executed on May 10, 1897, on orders from Aguinaldo, who had declared Bonifacio as a traitor. Bonifacio's legacy as a hero of the Philippine Revolution has been recognized by the Philippine government, which has declared his birthday, November 30, a national holiday. His life and legacy have been celebrated in literature, art, and film including the award-winning film Bonifacio, Ang Una Pangulo, or in English, Bonifacio, the First President. At the close of August 1896, members of the Katipunan Secret Society, led by Andres Bonifacio, rose up and revolted somewhere in area referred to as Caloocan, wider than the jurisdiction of present-day Caloocan City, which may have overlapped into present-day Quezon City. Originally, the term cry referred to the first clash between the Katiponeros and civil guards. The cry could also refer to the tearing up of community tax certificates or cedulas and defiance of their allegiance to Spain. This was literally accompanied by patriotic shouts. Prior to the cry of Bugad Lawin, a series of events occurred that strengthened the resolve of Filipino people against the Spanish colonizers. These events brought unity to the once divided Filipino people and led directly to the cry of Bugad Lawin and the formation of the Philippine Revolution. On the day of January 20, 1872, approximately 200 Filipino military personnel stationed in Fort San Felipe in Cavite, stage a mutiny against Governor General Rafael D. Scudero. The Governor General had rescinded the liberal mandates of his predecessor. Governor General Carlos Maria de la Torre, earning him the R of the Filipino workers. The mutiny was quickly and violently quelled and the governor general named and condemned three priests as the leaders of the mutiny. Mariano Gomez, Jose Vargas, and Jacinto Zamora were prominent Filipino priests that were sentenced to death by public execution due to their involvement in the Cavite mutiny. On February 17, 1872, the three priests were publicly executed by Garote on the order of Governor General Rafael de Izquierdo. Though the Governor General hoped to make an example of the priest to intimidate the Filipinos, the public execution had the opposite effect. The names of the three priests were made into a portmanteau and the resulting gumburza became a rallying cry for nationalistic Filipinos. In 1892, Sepi Rizal, a prominent Filipino author and future national hero of the Philippines, was exiled by the Spanish government to the Pitan in northern Mindanao. Rizal had published two novels, Malimitangre and El Filibusterismo, which were highly critical of the Spanish rule over the country. 
Rizal also established the Liga Filipina, an underground organization for Filipino, for Filipino nationalists with the goal of uniting the Philippine archipelago against the oppressive Spaniards. Three days after forming this organization, however, he was arrested by the Spanish government and was exiled for years. In 1892, a group called the Hatipunan was founded with the goal of overthrowing Spanish colonizers in the Philippines and gaining independence, led by Andres Bonifacio. The Hatipunan organized the Cry of Pugadlawin, which involved around 500 members meeting on August 23, 1896 to discuss plans for an uprising. A stalemate occurred. But the group reconvened the next day with more members present and decided to attack Manila on August 29. After the meeting, Bonifacio encouraged Hatiponeros to tear the cedulas as a symbol of their commitment to the cause. Unfortunately, on August 25th, the Spanish Civil Guard discovered the Hatiponeros, resulting in the Battle of Pasong Tamo. Many Filipinos mistakenly believe that Andres Bonifacio was always the supreme leader of the Katipunan, but he was actually elected to the position three times. He first became Suprema in January 1895, then again in December of the same year, and then finally in August 1896. The original Suprema was Deodato Aureliano, a co-founder of the Katipunan, who was elected in 1892, but was later removed by Bonifacio due to his ineffectiveness. Bonifacio then called for new elections in February 1893, resulting in Roman Basa becoming the new Suprema. Bonifacio also removed Basa in 1895 after the latter criticized him over the recruitment process and his handling of the organization's funds. It is widely known that the Katipunan respected Rizal's advice and sent Pio Valenzuela to the Pitan to seek uh, his blessing for an armed revolution. However, uh, instead of approving their plan, um, Rizal uh, advised them to gather more material support from wealthy Filipinos uh, in order to increase their chances of success. Bonifacio, disappointed by Rizal's uh, lack of support, uh, allegedly called him a coward and ordered Valenzuela to keep the details of their uh, meeting secret to avoid lowering uh, morale among the revolutionaries. However, um, Valenzuela was uh, reported pressured by top leaders of the Katipunan to reveal uh, what had transpired during the meeting. The Katipunan sought support for their revolution and considered Japan as a potential ally. Japan was seen as a model of resisting Western influence, and the Katipuneros hoped that Japan would assist them in fighting against the Spanish. In May 1896, the leaders of the Katipunan secretly met with the Japanese warship captain and consul in Manila to request the Japanese emperor's aid in liberating the Philippines. Despite the Japanese agreeing to sell weapons and ammunition, the deal fell through due to insufficient funds and the revolution breaking out too early. Jose Dizer, responsible for securing weapons from Japan, was also among those arrested. Matagal na rin ako naghihintay ng grupo na katulad ng katipunan na maaari magsimula ng pagbabago. Maraming taon na rin tayo nagtiis at kung hindi dahil sa sinimula ng Supremo, hindi tayo makakita ng pag-asa. Ang mga laga, magpatuloy tayo sa paglaganap ng kalayaan nang sa ganoy, mapadami ang bilang ng ating miyembro. Patinyo, saan ka pupunta? Honoria, Patinyo. Gusto kita bigyan ng babala. Anong babala? 
hindi biro ang narinig kong plano ng revolusyon. Kailangan natin mag-ingat dahil pag nagkagulo, pati ikaw ay madadamay. Paano mo nalaman ang tukol sa revolusyon sinasabi mo? Ayon ito sa mga katarbaho ko sa Diario de Manila. Bakit hindi mo ito ipigbigay alam sa gobernador Silvio? Gloria, ba't ka umiiyak? Aking pong napagalaman na ang katipunan ay naghahanda sa napapalapit na revolusyon. Hindi tama itong pinaplano nila. Kailangan natin ito sabihin kay Padre Mariano. Sabihin mo na lahat ng nalalaman mo tungkol sa katipunan. Padre Mariano? Ang tanging nalalaman ko lang po ang pagpaplano ng katipunan para sa revolusyon. Narinig ko lang po ito sa mga katrabaho ko sa Diario de Manila. Ang kinabukasan ng mga susunod na henerasyon ay bahagi ng ating responsibilidad. Tayong mga nauna, tayong mga malalakas, tayong mga kayahang lumabat, tayong makapagbibigay ng kalayaang nararapat para sa kanila. Malakayang tiwala ko sa iyo, Andres, bilang ina ng katipunan, ay napabayak sa iyo ang desisyon ko ng sa tingin mo ang nararapat. Napakarami ng mga bibitim ng ekspandu. Mas marami pa ang mawala ko kapag hindi natin pinigilan tayo ng pangapi. Sa mga tanong ito, susuong natin ang ating mga buwan ng araw ng mula ngayon sa pagdi ng Aventin Rebe. Sisumunin natin ang depulsyon. Punan! Lamas ninyo ang inyong mga sedula! Pagmasdan ninyo ang munting papel na umaabuso sa ating lahat! Kailangan na natin makasyan ang limang dakong-dakong pananakot ng mga kasila. Pulang lang tayo sa kandidata. Mas malakas mo ng buong at ganyan ng mga kasila. Laban tayo. Hindi tayo magpapaupig. Atin ang bayang ito. Atin ang lupang ito. Kundi hindi na sedula. Mabuhay ang katipunan! Mabuhay! Mabuhay ang revolusyon! Mabuhay!